Hello Scorpio, welcome to my weekly channel. So uh, I just have to announce that I'm in the Philippines and I'm right on the ocean here. And it's kind of that time where everyone comes onto the beach. So I apologize in advance if we are disturbed by any noises. Um, but hopefully it won't be too bad and we can enjoy the reading. All right, so Scorpio. Um, I am going to focus on the Scorpio Collective whilst shuffling the cards and I just want to announce that I'm going to be doing a reading exploring the feelings and intentions of you and the other in the past, the present and the future. I'm also going to look at the unifying energies between the two of you as well as explore what the best intentions forward are with whatever the situation is. Um, and then I'll also pick some cards from Spirit just to get an idea of what's coming up. Alright, so this is for Scorpio and the other. The collective of Scorpio and the other. Show me what I need to see. Collective of Scorpio and the other. Collective of Scorpio and the other. All right, so I will just pick the cards. Just bear with me while I pull all the cards out. And then I'll go into greater detail with what's coming up. Very strong connection. Very strong connection. Okay. What are the unifying energies between Scorpio and the other? What are the unifying energies between Scorpio and the other? What are the unifying energies between Scorpio and the other? Nostalgia. So I've got the Lenormand cards over here and I'm just going to ask for three cards for Scorpio and the other to give more information about what's going on over here. Scorpio and the other. More information about what's going on. This is the Yasho, the Yasho Tarot deck. So I'm just going to ask for three cards from Spirit. Okay. Yep. So the same theme is coming through here. Whoop. One at a time, please. Uh, well, definitely that card. And then let's pick one more. All right, so this is quite a journey for you that you're on here. Scorpio, I can see that there's an immense amount of love in the past. There was the, the, the Queen of Cups card is coming up. Those are the waves. The Queen of Cups card is coming up for the intentions between the two of you as well as the star card for the feelings. So it's almost as if you fulfill each other's dreams, you are each other's hopes, you, you want you've wished for for each other and I, I really feel that this is a soulmate connection as much as connections can be soulmate and whatever that means but it's something that's that's very cosmic and, and spiritual and beautiful and and they really see you as um they, they see you they feel 
you feel like the sun to them, you're, you're light and, and vitality and nourishing and beautiful, illuminating. And you feel an immense amount of passion for them. And, um, and for you, 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 your intention to, with this relationship is, is marriage, is commitment. And same for them, the lover's card is coming up for them. So this is a relationship that they want. This is in the past. So in the, in the present moment, something else is coming up. Um, and yeah, I think you are, what I'm seeing is your intentions is to move away from the challenging times. Um, for them, they're going through some kind of struggle. Um, their intentions with you is to persevere. There is some kind of perseverance happening. Um, and, and then I have the Wheel of Fortune card coming up in the present moment. The intention of both of you is to move things forward, to allow things to move forward from whatever this challenge was that both of you were facing. Um, and, and for you, what you're feeling around this person is that they, they're walking away from something. Perhaps there's a vulnerability for you that they're wanting to walk away. Um, because their feelings towards you are perhaps they're taking you a little bit for granted, like they've got you under their thumb. And because the joint energies between the two of you are some kind of loss. This is in the present moment. So how you feel about each other right now is some kind of loss. So, so I really feel like in the present moment, the relationship is going through something. Um, what I'm seeing here is, so there's two cards that's coming up um, that have the same theme, and it's about the past. And it's about, in this case, it's about the sweetness of the past, the love of the past, the relationship that was. Um, and so, so there's a clinging to that. There's a holding on to that instead of accepting whatever the circumstances are in the present moment. And I can see that for both of you, you're not fully willing to see that because we've got the four of cups and this person is focused on the three cups in front of him and he looks very unhappy about it. And then there's something that's been offered to him in front of him through the cloud, through divinity, through life itself. It's offering him something and he's not able to see it or take it. So there's some kind of silver lining in your present circumstances that you're not allowing yourself to see because you're so focused on um, what what is not at the moment that once was, which is the sweetness and the passion and the love and the connection from the past. Um, but I can see that one of the unifying energies that exist between the two of you that unite you is your emotional fulfillment. So um, to some extent, you both feel this emotional fulfillment towards each other. You know, with the Lenormand cards, I've got three very beautiful cards coming up. And, and there's, the first card is loyalty. It's the dog. And so I, I feel that there is loyalty in this connection. You know, even though your partner uh, may be going through something right now or you may be going through something right now, that is creating this feeling of loss or destruction or doom between the two of you in the feeling realm. Uh, the loyalty is there and the star card comes up again and communication of this. So um, it's, it's almost like there's some kind of communication that comes through of your hopes and dreams or your wishes, whatever they are, coming true. And, um, and, and, and so whatever it is that you're struggling with right now, whatever it is that you wish and hope for is coming into actualization. And yeah, so there's, there's some kind of loss that's happened. But then in the future, I see, so your intention, Scorpio, we've got the eight of ones and the eight of ones has two well a few functions but your intentions towards the relationship towards them it, it it could be a renewed passion or renewed sexuality or grounding the relationship again or it could also refer to travel 
So there could be a possibility that there's a separation between the two of you. There has been because of lockdown. And, uh, and so your intention is to get back to them. They are coming up as the King of Pentacles. So, um, you know, for them, their intentions with you is to, again, it's the loyalty card. It's to hold the space for the relationship, to be the, the patriarchy within the relationship, um, to, to be the provider within the relationship. But then what's interesting is the, the collective in it, intentions between the two of you is the devil card. Okay, So this could refer to passion and sexuality, but it can also refer to some kind of codependency or addiction. Um, so we'll, we'll look at that now. But in terms of the feelings between the two of you, um, I do see that you taking some kind of stand and um, it could be a kind of perseverance. So your feelings towards the other is uh, you see them as persevering, um, you know, holding out whatever it is that you're going through, really persevering with a connection. And they are there. It's the three of the three of ones. And in this case, for me, I'm getting the feeling of planning, like preparing. And it's this person standing on a mountain with three ones and he's looking over down into the ocean where all the ships are coming in. So it's almost as if he's waiting or she, that's presuming he's a he. Whoever the other is, they're waiting for you to come, to arrive. They're waiting because the, the final card, the feelings between the two of you in the future, I have the Ten of, of Cups. And this is the happy family card. It's, it's the beautiful final outcome. Everything turning in a really good direction emotionally. It's, it's part of deep emotional performance with regards to you as a family unit. And so, yeah, so I do see that if this is the travel card, I see him waiting for you to return. And I see your perseverance with your feelings towards him. I also have the, the Abundance card coming up and the card of Maturity. So I feel like this, whatever this was that happened between the two of you, whatever the struggle was, because I do see you, Scorpio, in the present moment, starting to move away from whatever it was that was challenging. And, it, and, and I'm sensing it's to do with the separation or um, what once was and no longer is right now. I see you moving away from that and because the maturity card is coming up, I can see this was a very testing experience for you, which you have matured greatly from and it's taught you grace and um, it's taught you, it's, it's brought wisdom and, and, and maturity as a result of it, as well as abundance. The abundance card is coming up and I feel that because the reading ends with the Ten of Cups card, it talks about this abundance that's coming your way, especially the stars card, especially the star coming up twice. Um, this really is a strong connection. And if there is a separation between the two of you, you will be coming back together again because there's communication of that. Now, I just want to get one card to find out what this devil card is in the intentions between the two of you. And Possibly, if there is a separation between the two of you, it could just indicate how it is that you absolutely ravish each other when you come back together again. So let's pick one card for that. What is the devil card about? Okay, so it, it is to do with um, it is to do with somebody sweeping next door. Um, it is to do with I think the attachment. Like there's. Uh, it's almost like your need for each other is almost bordering on codependent. And, uh, and there's some kind of insecurity or fear coming up that you you will both detach from. Um, and the Because the judgment card is coming up and so it's talking about, um, you know, whatever has happened, whether it's the separation or the challenges that you went through, um, you will rise up from it and the work required to create stability in the connection will come your way. I've also got the Queen of Swords and she doesn't wear her emotions on her sleeve and normally you are a water sign Scorpio so you, you may have um, had some emotional intensity during this time but I see there's a maturing that happens for you as a result of it. So that's all very beautiful and promising and this was a lovely reading and I wish you all the best. 
So thank you. If you enjoyed that, please leave your comments as well as like and subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to go deeper, I do offer readings. You can, uh, I combine it with astrology for you and your partner. So you can get the details in the description box below. Thank you so much. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.